next in the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that but it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possess that set of skills. If I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, that big judge. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. All right, DC, here he is, the one, the only, don't call him Kevin Ferguson. He, of course, is Kimbo Slice. And when we're talking about mixed martial arts and its footprint in the United States of America, Kimbo Slice is a guy who deserves a lot of credit for this mass expansion, at least in my opinion. Absolutely, because when Kimbo Slice fought, people tuned in from the Ultimate Fighter to his days outside of the UFC. Some of the biggest TV ratings we've ever experienced are attributed to Kimbo Slice. He's a guy that people just want to see. From the backyard brawls to the octagon, Kimbo Slice is very special. And probably the nicest guy you would ever want to meet. Don't look like it. When that octagon door closes. He doesn't closed, look like exactly. it, but he is a great guy. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 38 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Quinton Rampage Jackson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of five wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo Slaw! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon, one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark in this great arena. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh, big left hook there. He landed a good uppercut there. He got him. Big left hand lands up there. Oh, huge right hand. Back to the feet. All right, 
so he lands another hook there. He's falling in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss with this hook. He's doing a good job of setting it up, fading out a jab, and then throwing the hook around his opponent's high guard. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Kimbo Slice gets caught with that punch. his opponent with that hook, our no-nonsense referee almost stepped in there. He almost stepped in because when you start flailing around the octagon, know that the ref has to. He has to. It is his job to save you. You don't want to be on the receiving end of too many of this guy's hook punches. Your boy George Allen might have stepped in That's and stopped that guy, fight. You know, all swagged out too. George <laughs> Allen all swagged out, stopped the fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Huge block! Big left hand there inside. Just over two minutes to go and one. Over the top and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, straight right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise. That one appeared to stun him. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to get hurt back. Oh, he might be out. Oh! 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 oh. Put him to sleep. Back to the feet. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. Well, he's connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. He blocks the punch. Kimbo Slice gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Good job, Kimbo. <laughs> Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Here's the buff with the Ladies official and decision. Referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kimbo And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. When you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he's got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he did.